Hello, teacher. I have been looking for you the whole morning. Finally, I found you. Hello, Stephen. Were you looking for me? Well, here I am. What can I do for you? I'm tired, teacher. I try and try, but every time I have to use a new word, I don't remember it. I don't understand. What do you mean? You can't learn new words in English? No, I mean, when I see a word for the first time, I can use it. But then the next week, I want to use that word again in another sentence, but I just can't remember the word. I'm talking about more advanced words because I already speak basic English. I think I get it now. You can't memorize new vocabulary in English. Advanced vocabulary. So that's why you always use the same basic words. I understand you now. That's correct, and I need your help with that, please. What can I do? I can't keep talking basic English. I need to speak advanced English. Help me, please. Yeah, I get it. Don't worry. I will help you. Pay attention. Really? Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help, teacher. You know, I am not a native English speaker. Like you, I had to learn English long time ago. Eighteen years ago, to be exactly. So I know what you're talking about because I had the same problem. Learning basic English was not difficult for me. I was always good at English. So I could speak English in a very short time. I mean, basic English. I was happy. But then with the time, I realized it was not enough. My level of English was not enough. To communicate with native English speakers because they don't speak just basic English. So I had to memorize new advanced English words, but it was very difficult for me. So in this video, I'm not gonna give you many technical tips. Not this time. I'll tell you what exactly worked for me, and maybe it could work for you too, Stephen. Something that worked for me was to use the new word as soon as possible. How is it? Well, imagine you learn a new word, the word forsake. Do you know what it means? To be honest, no, teacher. It's the first time I hear that word. What does it mean? Well, forsake means to leave someone who needs or counts on you. Live in the lurch. So, you've learned that new word. Now you have to use it in a sentence. Why did you forsake me? Well, this sentence is similar to Why did you abandon me? You can use that, of course. But you want to use new vocabulary. So you need to use the new word. For sake. Now, you know what for sake means. But you need to use it in different grammar times. 
So you will have to learn all the variations of this verb because you can say, you forsake me. I forsake you. They forsake me. But that's only in present simple. You need to use it in different grammar times because that's how native speakers speak. So, go to internet and search for the variations of the word forsake or use a dictionary. Forsake in present simple, forsaking in present continuous, forsook in past simple. Forsaken, will forsake, and so on. Okay, so now that you know its variations, you can use that verb in hundreds of sentences and questions, so you can memorize it. Why did you forsake me? I haven't forsaken you. He's forsaking me. I won't forsake you. Create as many sentences as possible, a lot of them, until... Until that word is very familiar to you, that's the best way to learn a new word. That's fantastic. But what if I have to use that word months from now and I don't remember it? That's why you'll create a lot of sentences with that new word to memorize it faster than usual. And not only that, it will become part of your vocabulary. And you know what's the best part? You will want to use that new word all the time. Uh, seriously, it happened to me. Every time I learned a new advanced word, I wanted to use it always. And it really works. That's how you're going to improve your vocabulary. Now, this is something very important. You not only want to learn English, you want to use it for real-life situations. Am I right? Yes, teacher. I need to speak English from real life, not just English from books. Yeah, I know that. Then you will have to do this. Do you remember I told you to make as many sentences as possible? Yes, you said I have to use that new word to create a lot of sentences in many grammar times. All right, but you won't just invent the sentences. You will associate the words. You will associate this new word to your life, the real life. Do you know how? Well, it's easy. For example, if you learn the word intrepid, do you know what it means? Yes, I've heard that. Intrepid means invulnerable to fear or intimidation. Very good. Well, now you will have to use it. I am very intrepid. Are you intrepid? Or that intrepid man is walking towards the gas station. When I have a child, he will be very intrepid. I remember I wasn't intrepid in the school. Do you understand what I mean? Use the word in different contexts and different grammar times. But with real life sentences, with real examples, sentences about your life. It worked really well for me and it can also work for you if you do it every time you learn a new word.
Yes, teacher, that's a very valuable information. I promise I will practice that. Now, I need to know more advanced vocabulary. Can you make a video about that, please? Of course, but only if our subscribers like the idea. Do you want a video with advanced English words? If you do, please like this video and comment. Thank you very much for your support. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.